Hello, I'm Natalie, and let's talk some magic today. So one of the biggest hurdles that I see happening right now is essentially this collective energy is extremely challenging because you have so many things happening. I'm going to tell you something that's actually happening right now. I'm just uh, typing it <laughs> and I added it to the bottom here. This is a huge problem right now. If you see this right here, yes, this, and it keeps, it's gonna keep scrolling. It is so real. <laughs> if you look at one of my videos, a modernization of this freaking amazing speech that was in The Great Dictator, which was a film by Charlie Chaplin, written, directed, starred in, music by, he's, what a talented being that guy was. But anyway, I took that same video and I put it onto a non-platform called Brighteon. And I had more views on that in one hour than that same video on this channel for two days. <laughs> Basically, what's happening is, and I'll write it down below as well, is this. This is what happens to videos that the powers that be don't like. One place, one way that we can start it's so hard to speak truth about everything that's happening when this is happening or the other word that I shared earlier. It's almost impossible. And so this really takes the spirit and vivaciousness out of those of us with missions here to help. Because to help, we have to talk about it. We have to speak it. We have to speak it into existence. That's actually magic, by the way. That's a big part of magic. So anyway, subscribing to the channels that you really like, liking the videos and commenting really helps all the things. And I'm, I'm a brand new channel. I had started one year, many years ago and got disenfranchised with it all and then realized I've just got to push through. Now, there is another um, platform that is just brilliant called Unite Live. This is an amazing platform if you haven't heard about it yet. So I just wanted to share these as alternatives because it's really getting so bad that like this video that I shared with you about uniting, about coming around this energy of what unification could really mean is getting stifled. What do you do, right? And I also have this channel. I can share all the things there. So just wanted to share some other, again, options. This is a challenge, but another aspect to this is when, as a soul family tribe, when you come in and you start waking up to the truth of like, I have a bigger mission. I'm here to do something more than whatever rando job that we get that tends to people get pushed into careers and pathways that really don't fill, fulfill their soul. <laughs> Not even this little much, right? And we have choices to make. It's a free will universe. But here's the thing. It is not free will when you're forced or coerced into having to do something just, just to survive. So we have to really take stock in how we're creating. And we also have to remember and awaken the magic that's within us of the divinity that we really hold and the placement in the galactic everythingness that really holds the space of what a human is here to do which is so much bigger than I think most can even fathom. And when I really see this in visions and get this information, sometimes when I'm writing, I look at that and think, wow, 
it takes a minute to, to integrate and embody because of this false matrix construct. And when I say false, there's so that you have original creation blueprint, which is here, right? And what happened is when the realm got hijacked, it got all of this stuff placed on top of it. Okay, so look, most of us, if you're being called into this channel, you know this, right? So when we deal with this, but when we break through because we have access, it just takes a lot of work, a lot of inner work to be able to get there. And launching our missions, if you're a star seed, and you know it, if you're an indigo and you know it, if you don't really know these two things yet, you don't claim them and fully speak that into existence, it's time. The more that people say who what they're really, who they really are from the soul construct, and you put that into the universe, meaning into our realm, you speak these words. So what ends up happening is What's going on in your mind, in this construct we call mind, which are emotions and intentions. If your emotions and intentions are matching, and then you have the, that creates thought. And then that creates you to actually align with your words. So the words you start speaking, and then the actions you start doing. If all those things are aligned, that is literally magic. I would add to that kind of this depth or this underpinning of your will and your de determination to make something happen. And in my work, when I do one-to-one -one sessions or in the Tap Into Your Magic program, underpinning all of this from my lens and my gift, I'm an empath and a precognitive empath. Seer. I get these visions at nighttime. I get information at nighttime. It's in the solitude of, of night, of what we call darkness, because all this other stimulation allows all these other channels to be opened. When you are an empath, you can feel other people's energy, but you can feel where they're blocked. You can see that their heart is blocked or that they're blocked and they're not reaching divinity. And then what you can do is you can suggest all these beautiful things that they can start working on. Now, one reason I started Master Herbalist training program is because part of that is also these, this physical working of getting, of wringing out your organs with all this trapped energy and emotions and things. So it all works together is what I'm saying. The reason that I'm bringing this work to life is because when you can see into the spaces within you that are blocked or your pieces of you that are completely unseen, that's when the power starts to activate because you're going into places that you haven't been to and you can start walking the path of things that can actually help you to get clear, to become a, a more perfected channel for the divine energy that's flowing. Every human on this planet is a channel, by the way. And the people that say they're channelers, they have actually just defined who they're connected with. When you become an open channel, you need to be very clear in the energies you're connecting with. When you can tune into frequencies, you can tune into the frequencies that are higher love light positive, or you can connect into frequencies of hijacking. The hijacking is evil magic or evil magicians that are going to try to hijack the frequency that's coming in. And so you learn to discern with your body and your body becomes an oracle. An oracle reads with their body. So the more you can get into your body, the more that you can accept and bring in this higher dimensional construct of who you truly are as an avatar. And this is also very relevant for this topic that I wanted to bring up because I was just writing down all these things that I'm seeing I see suffering in a lot of indigos and star seeds that haven't claimed that truth yet, that are still trying to meander what you could call the conventional traditional paths. And often when we get stuck in those traditional conventional paths, we suffer even more greatly because we are so not here for those paths. For example, when I 
was given the opportunity in 2016 and during the big shift in the timeline of the army of light was going that needed it needed to be it needed to ignite faster get things going in that timeline shift there was a huge wave that came through a huge consciousness shift and i've spoken to other persons like me who've got the same message at the same time and with that message came this urgency and the urgency is actually getting even more urgent now and so when you're here for a mission, you have something to do here and you need to do it. And if you don't do it, you will suffer because you, it's like a piece of you knows, man, I'm supposed to be doing something and I'm not doing it. And so that causes angst. This is, I would say, a main source of depression and anxiety because you haven't embraced what that is yet and healed enough of your body's energetically of your body energetically and in, in your organs and gotten into the energy the energetics of what's being blocked in you and when that happens it, it this knowing it's like it, it causes anxiety so the truth is by stepping into the mission just to say yes i'm ready allows that door to be open and things can actually start almost opening up for you I've seen this happen and in working with people and it's absolutely, it's a, it's gorgeous. It was actually what happened to me too. And just saying yes is the first step. But what it also requires is giving up things that don't matter. All of this going out to dinner, entertainment. I know for many of us, we don't feel called into this anymore. And the reason why is because focus changed. Because something realigned within saying, you don't have time for that. Now, connection is important. These things are important. You're building your family or whatever nuclear unit that you want to be creating is very essential. But these ancillary things and Doing these things that perhaps you were doing aren't going to matter anymore. And in fact, when you focus on your mission, when you really step into that truth and you really get hyper-focused in it and you figure this out and you start taking those steps, giving up those things that won't matter, it's actually when we get trapped back into all this distraction when we give in to those distractions, we're actually giving into those energies and those energies start to literally siphon our energies. And so we get sidetracked on our mission. So it's going to require giving up things that don't matter. Truly, if you're here for a mission, the mission is what matters. And then those that support you on that mission is what matters. And then organically reaching as many people that you desire to serve is what matters. There's a different way to focus in on all these new frequencies. These new frequencies are calling us to let go of what does not matter. And in fact, in my logo up here, you'll see that there's a focus on the word up. Disrupting is about getting up and out. Traje it's like a trajectory leap out of whatever was. And while sometimes it can cause a lot of chaos, it's like an organizing chaos. It breaks things. If you choose with intention and integrity and your will and determination, and you're fully aligned, as I talked about before, those things are all going to start falling not only into place, but it will start to forge a path that you never thought possible. Because even as seers, as mystics, those of us that were just attuned to more psychic abilities from the get-go, even we don't see all the possibilities. Because it isn't possible to see all the possibilities. So there's a lot of taking just one step in front of the other, saying, yes, 
I'm going to keep showing up no matter what. I'm going to keep going no matter what. I'm going to keep focusing no matter what. I'm going to say no to things that just don't matter. They're going to take my time away from my mission. Because if we all focus on this and we're doing exactly what our unique gifts are designed to bring into the realm, oh my God, imagine how freaking fast things would change. Truly, truly how fast things would change. With these things like what I mentioned before, which is this right here <laughs> it's sometimes hard to point because you're it's all different in the camera but that makes and see this is why they're this is why it's happening is because it throws people off their track and then you got a course correct and let me tell you it has taken i have a team of people that help me in my businesses zizzes brands, two brands. And if I didn't have them, it would take me so much more, so much longer to course correct. But I do it anyway, right? Because again, it's just part of the mission. If I want to share any, anything around natural healing, for example, you take this word and what I just, that word I just showed you before, it gets even worse because the crunch and the stifling is getting more and more heavy. But if we can just keep breaking through and saying, nope, I'm here for my mission, I'm doing this and you can't stop me, that is an energy that allows us to unite. And in the video that I was doing before, that I did before about uniting, that this is one way how, because what's going to happen is then you can start looking at organization. So in your mission, whatever that might be, because yours is going to be so beautiful and so unique because you are. It is even if it's similar, um, saving animals, let's just say. You're going to do it in a way that's different than anyone else. Even if you go work for an organization or, or you're helping an organization that saves them because you're going to show up in a different way. You're going to bring new light to the beautiful projects or, or organization. And that is the beauty is by speaking our truth and by showing up in this extreme magic that we bring, this allows us to actually serve and make those ripple effects because it's like you push, you just threw another stone into this pond and now you're just creating more ripples. And so the ripples of awakening just goes faster and faster and nobody can stop it. Especially the people that are doing this. They can't stop it. And it's amazing to think about this. But it takes, it's the army of galactic light warriors. <laughs> it's the army of indigos. It's the army of starseeds that are going to make this work. So it is time to claim that power so that we can unite more. And you know what I think we need to do? I think we need to do it in person. This is all great. But what good does it do? Let's go meet for purpose, focus, do the mission, work the missions, right? If we can align and bring things together and or get integrated into amazing organizations that already exist, then I think that is what kind of changes the progress. So one question that I've gotten from that video, the Unite video is about, you is what do we do? This is what you do. You launch your mission, you start speaking your truth, 
you start getting into the world. And if you need help doing it, I'm one of several, many that can help you in very unique ways and get, get that structured and then start connecting into organizations that are already existing. Because you know what? There are so many that already exist, that already exist. In fact, this person, he actually came onto my radar years ago. And I don't know if you've connected into him, but this is a movement and just an option to look at. Again, there are energies and things that have already been coming together for years now, definitely the last three years, but now we're going to quicken the pace because I think anybody really attached into this energy, what I feel is a quickening. I feel this, come on, let's, okay, let's go. That's the energy of let's get going guys. Come on, come on, come on. Like something's just coming up under pushing my butt. Like, come on. I'm carrying that energy forward going, come on. <laughs> now I'm going to push your butts. That doesn't sound good, does it? But you know what I'm saying. Little kicks in the booty is what we need sometimes. And so it's like empowerment. It's giving up things that get in our way. Just come on, no. Just nope, nope, yes, yes, yes to mission. Nope, 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 yes, mission. Loved ones supporting me, yes, yes. People that aren't supporting me, no. So this is how we start clearing this pathway energetically. And just in that process, while it's not easy, I'm not saying that it is, I'm 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 making light of it, but the truth is that in the work that when I'm working with people, <clears throat> it's just by choosing that energy, things start to shift. We create in the energetic resonant fields first before you even create in what we call a matter. That's what imagination is. That's what intention is. That's what really manifestation is all about. And there's a process for that, which I'll go into a detail in another video in the future, because that's just something to remember is that we create in energy fields first. So just by choosing that they're already going to start aligning things and bringing things into your awareness, as long as you keep choosing and showing up and being in that consistently. I am excited for quickening. And this energy is a little difficult to deal with this like come on energy, but it's good because that actually can create momentum and speed in which we need to have right now as an army of light. Until next time.